happening? What's good with everybody out there? This is your boy, the K-Lox King, Big Country. And I'm back again with another one for y'all today. So I was going to chill out after I did a couple reactions and stuff to, you know, say take care of some business. But I couldn't let this slide, though, man. The GOAT Lil Wayne then came with a visual, finally, to Don't Cry with XXX Tentacion. Rest in peace, Josiah, by the way. Um... Yeah, I don't even know what to think about this. I'm 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 going to be a little emotional because you know I like X's music, man. I still be bumping the Question Mark album, like because uh, one of my favorite songs was on that album, which is um, uh, uh, motherfucking. Well, I love Moonlight, Sad. Um, there's a few of them. Um, shoot, I can't even go through the one with Joey Badass. I love that one. That was cool. Um, and then um. Uh, um, dang, I, I, you got me trying to name all the tracks and stuff. I like, uh, I don't speak Spanish, LOL was funny too. I, I go through the whole album for real. Cause that whole album was pretty classic. Um, and then the other song I fucked with from X heavy was, uh, fuck love with trippy red. That was like one of my all time favorite songs with them on it. I, and I sometimes like the young brat song too, when I be in my moods though, for real. So, uh. Otherwise than that, y'all, y'all know the deal. Oh, and obviously, uh, uh, like an insomniac is a classic. I love, bitch, I am up. Bitch, I am up. Bitch, I am up. Bitch, I am up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, huh? I, I love <laughs> I love it, though. But this was actually a great song from Lil Wayne when he came out with this, when he dropped the album, and then he had this song on there. I fuck with this heavy, so I'm glad we're getting the visual for it. You know what I'm saying? Because I know people... Then finally, you know what I'm saying, then he moved on and everything like that. So for Lil Wayne, he a real one for this, though. He a real one for dropping this, though. So uh, I'm not going to go too long. Any XXX Tatashian fans, shout yourselves out in the comments. I appreciate y'all. Like I said before, RIP Josiah. And I also got to say RIP Juice World as well. You know what I'm saying? Because they were all close friends. And uh, shout out to Ski Master Slum Guy. Shout out Trippy Red. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that was affiliated with them as well. And we're going to get into this video here. So, y'all know the deal? Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go. Oh, man. I'm loving this, though. No, a fucking king that forgot his crown. I am not number one, it's true. I'm number 92782. Color blind, even if I may be blue. A light on my plate ain't my favorite food. But I'm hungry, so hungry. Need my family tree next to a money tree Wayne with a bunch of leaves in the Garden of Eden with a bunch of. Wayne always gonna be my nigga, man. But my boy, please do something with these locks, bro. Either reattach the old ones, you know what I'm saying? Or regrow some of them or something, bro. You know what I'm saying? I love you, man. The Garden of Eden with a bunch of Eve, no fruit punch for me. I sense from the fountain of you. So if I die young, blame the juice. Bury me in New Orleans, tombstone reeds. Don't cry, stay tuned. Bring me back to life. Gotta lose a life just to have a life. But if heaven's as good as advertised, I want a triple extension on my motherfucking afterlife. Rest in paradise. Yeah, man. 
be grateful. Fame is not a given. Be humble and concede it's self-driven. Drive carefully, stay in your own lane. See buckle and sometimes when there is no music, we toot our own horns. My pump up from that woman carried the future and told you was born like the th 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 call it a comeback. It was dark, now the sun back hit me hard, but I punched back. The wheels fell off, I wrote the hub cap. Is it suicide or is do or die? It's newer days and it's bluer skies. I told myself it's just you and I. Then the breeze came and it blew my mind. Lord knows who I'm there for. I give my last breath to effort. Mama tell me to be careful. Voice in my head, give me an earful. But I got mind control over mind control. I lost control, but knew I find control. I let God control what I cannot control. Can't control the tears, let them drop and roll. I love this one. Masterpiece. I don't know what to say, man. This shit is crazy. I love you. Triple X that you know I'm a motherfucking afterlife, rest in paradise. Woo, I ain't gonna lie. Uh cutting onions a bit though, man. That glossed me a little bit though, man. People die and stuff like that. It's it just be crazy. And I, I ain't gonna lie, I was a, I was a huge fan of Axe, though, in a way. I was a huge fan of a lot of artists and stuff. So, and we just recently lost a lot of people, too, um, on top of that. So, everybody that we recently lost, rest in peace. Um, I know we lost Rich Homie Kwan. I know we done lost, uh... John Amos just passed away not long ago too, even though now his death was a while ago. But the story behind his death is crazy. So if you go Google that story, you'll see what I'm talking about. But um, that's why we definitely live every day like it's our last. We never know when it's our time to go. That young man was like 20, 21 when he passed. And that and the way his story was and. Everything going on is crazy. And then right now with the Young Dolph trial, like if y'all notice that Young Dolph trial, that's crazy that Dolph was killed over $100,000. Supposedly, supposedly he got killed over $100,000. It's like no person's life is worth money like that, man. Because the person that was killing them supposedly said that these are supposed news alleged. So I'm not a hundred. I'm not confirming them hundred percent. But supposedly, the guys that one of the guys that killed Dolph was talking about he ain't had no pre, you know, saying he ain't had nothing for his daughter and stuff, and he needed the money. I understand if you you should have just asked for the money though, instead of just killing somebody, or go work for it like everybody else do. Everybody else goes work for it, and y'all you know saying you tried to take the easy route getting the money. I I I just. I don't know. Stuff like that I don't respect though cuz you take somebody's life to for your mon monetary gain. It just it just doesn't feel right for me. I don't know if I'm just go just yapping on that. I'm just chatting. I don't know, but you know, that's just my thoughts on it. But RIP to this young king X. We appreciate the goat little Wayne. Little Wayne is always the goat. I don't care what anybody say. Wayne is the goat of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Um it's just, you know, that stuff is beautiful, though, man. And I'm glad Lil Wayne made this visual because this definitely was needed for the X fans and stuff like that. 
and for uh, so he, you know what I'm saying, and that's what I love about Wayne. Wayne embraces the young culture as well. There's some artists that do as well, but you know when we're talking about Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne, he doesn't be like, oh, you know what I'm saying, I. I don't fit with the new culture and stuff. He embraces the new culture. Some of the stuff the new culture does is sus, but you know, well, we get where this is going with it though. So I rock with that. Let me know your thoughts and comments in the video below. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if this video made you emotional, feel teared up or anything like that, especially if you a fan of either artists and stuff like that. And we're going to keep the ball rolling as always. And I appreciate and love each and every one of y'all out there. Great vibes, great day. Y'all be easy. Stay blessed. Live every day like your last. OG Panda Beats.